Mm -mm. Going to a super chat. I might as well. We might as well get into Q&A. Thank you for the support, everybody, and tuning in. Hit the like button. Go check out Aaron Raw and Professor Dave Explains YouTube channel. Subscribe. Check out the Patreon, too, to help support them. You can also help us out here. Danish Debater says, okay, sadly can't watch now, but Dave, what was the reason for the rhetoric and semantic choices you made, especially towards the audience, but also versus James and the moderator and in the emails? I mean, I don't know what that means. Rhetoric, uh, semantic choices uh, towards the audience. They were heckling the shit out of me. So I put them in their place because they're idiots. Were they being Jane. loud there, by the way? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it was. What, were... what happened was there, there was quite a lot of believers because, of tour, course, Tour wanted to stack the audience with his own congregation. Yeah. He roped oh. off the room was rows. absolutely full. And a lot of his people, his supporters ended up in the overflow room. I understood there was like 80 tour supporters that had to be locked in that other room. I was yeah. almost locked in that other room despite trying to get there an hour early. So, I mean, they, they blocked me at the door and I, I, I insisted until they let me in because they put the arm out in front of me. Okay. You're the last one. No, 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 no. We're not playing this. I don't need a seat. Just stand and let me stand in the corner, but I'm getting in this room. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so they were just heckling and booing every time. See, the thing is, uh, w uh, semantic choices towards James. James is a liar. He's a pathological liar that exclusively lies about this field. Yeah. So my strategy is to show how much he lies about the topic we're debating. And every time I would show his lies, I get boos, of course. And then yeah. every time and we're I, talking about literature that they don't understand, they're like, oh, my God. So it's like, you guys have no idea yeah. what you're talking and that, about. And that's... That's where I have to contest you, unfortunately, because I've done the same thing. I mean, you and I have both debated Kent Hovind, right? So here, yeah, what's a more obvious example of a pathological liar? A, a yeah. guy who made every <laughs> seminar for, for decades. He's constantly corrected on the same five major lies, and he keeps repeating those lies. Mm -hmm. He'll never, ever correct them. He knows yeah. they're wrong, but they've made him money, and he can't sell used, car, used cars and make that kind of money. <laughs> correct. Which is the only talent that he has. That's right. Right, But it's, it's not a trick to show that a guy who has been convicted of dozens of counts of three different types of fraud, it's not a trick to show that that guy's a liar. But mm -hmm. the problem is there's a whole lot of other people that are telling the same lies, but they haven't been convicted of anything. Mm -hmm. So what, what is necessary is you have to attack the lie. Show that it is a lie without necessarily saying that he is a liar. That everybody who says this mm -hmm. is lying. That's the important thing, not just that one guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so like the, uh, to be more blunt why the direct direct did you feel that because look uh, it's not my style right to go and like someone might be lying and they might be a liar um but mm -hmm. it's i guess i'm different of course i wouldn't be like that i don't even debate but if i did i wouldn't be as direct what was the yeah. the mindset and going in because your presentation well, had that built into it you know what yeah I mean? yeah yeah well no i mean i i knew i was gonna i mean this is the, there's there's a couple years of build up here and the amount okay. of character assassination that he's thrown my way i'm not gonna like come at this all happy rosy um but the thing is he ex when he is discussing this research he's exclusively lying so i need to demonstrate that fact that he is lying and it's much easier to do that about things that everybody can understand so that they can then extrapolate that to the research so it's not that i just brought up like the textbook thing and the number of researchers thing i also brought up uh, uh, research that he attacked uh, from like Stephen Benner, where I show uh, that like he misinterpreted the C13 uh, NMR spectrum or he uh, like his strategy is to go through the supplemental section and pick out some technical detail and pretend it's a flaw when it's actually him just not understanding the experimental method. Right. So it's not like I just went liar, liar. I was like, here are all these very ultra specific ways that he has lied. This is priming you to understand that throughout the debate, when he has these objections about technical details of the paper. He is lying, right? You can't just blindly believe him because, oh, the smart molecule man said smart molecule words. He is perpetually lying, right? It's that's I needed that to be part of it. We're not going to come in and say, I, oh, he's a smart guy, but here's some research. No, 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 no. This guy's a pathological liar, right? That has to be yeah. made perfectly known, you know. But, but we have to know why it is a lie, that the lie itself oh, yeah. is indefensible no matter who says it. Sure. Which we, I we know that thoroughly. creationists, we yeah. know that creationists by their very job description are professional liars. Yeah. They are determined to make believe what is not evidently true. They make claims of fact and claims of knowledge they don't have, both of which are lying. 
at best, they're asserting baseless speculation as if it's a matter of fact, which is also lying. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my favorite quote from Abraham Lincoln, that it, he who is, asserts, um, he who makes an assertion without knowing whether it is true or false is guilty of falsehood, and the accidental truth of the assertion does not justify or excuse him. Mm -hmm. So when you tell me what Jesus does or how God loves me or fuck all, if you can't show me the truth of it, there is no truth to it. You are lying. You should mm -hmm. know that. So. so we circled around and I think we're kind of in agreement, but we're also like, I may not have done it that way. <laughs> I guess I know, I know well, our, yeah, enemy has also, some, our women in our lives would like, yeah. you know, Hey, tone it down well, a little, right? I'm and scorched that, earth, man. I mean, it's like, this yeah. is not a good, like, this is not a good faith discussion because he is not approaching it in good faith. Mm. So no, I, I get to that. Expose the bad faith. I would never do this yeah. in a good faith discussion of anything, but well, yeah. I want, I want yeah. that on the record because I think that a lot of people who may not even have been, they might side with you at the end of the day in terms of the belief. I don't, I don't want people to walk away necessarily looking at you and just going, this guy's just a rude, uh, uh, just, he is just obnoxiously rude. I mean, he targeted the guy, he kept calling him a liar, this and that, but yeah. I've had conversations with you before. You're, yeah. I don't know why, but I guess there's oil and water for some people. I mean, um, look, the, the, the people have to get their priorities straight. James Tour is a guy who lies about a field of science because Jesus and slanders researchers in the field. I mean, this is really, really inappropriate, unprofessional behavior. And he's been character assassinating and lying about me for years. That's why I brought that slide with all the insults. And notice what an unbelievable narcissist he is. I demonstrated that he kept saying Dave doesn't know chemistry. He cannot. The man cannot understand chemistry. He can't read papers, blah, blah, blah. His content is a manure dump. And then I demonstrated through crowd applause that all of his students use my tutorials to pass his class. So this doesn't make sense. If I can explain chemistry better than James can to his students, how is it that I don't understand chemistry? And he would not he would not concede that that was an absolutely ridiculous thing for him to say. He would not concede an inch on the intense insults that he'd thrown at me in all of his content. He just won't do it. He can't do it. So Here, here's an important thing. And I, I, I tweeted when you did that zinger because that was well played. Mm -hmm. um, but here's an important thing. Uh, often we hear that that evolution is a fraud. As a matter of fact, that was one of the chapters of my book in the Foundational Falsehoods of Creationism. And so I offer a challenge to, to anybody who wants to hold this position. If you want to think that both sides are the same, because they are absolutely not. We're not talking about two sides of the same coin. We're not talking about two valid opinions. We're not talking about two possibilities. We're talking about fact versus fiction. Truth versus lies, literally. So to, to make that explicitly clear, uh, I would challenge anybody to, you know, okay, find me, name for me, any, shut up, dog, name for me, any, <laughs> any evolutionary scientist who ever lied while promoting uh, evolution over creationism. Now, I know everybody's going to go to Erd's Tackle, but I've already mm -hmm. done videos on that. No, that's not the thing that you think it is. You don't know what you're talking about. But... If you want um, the, the converse of that, is if you just you you give me the you you tell me the name, quote the lie verbatim, right? And uh, the alternative side of that is uh, if you name me one professional creationist who did not lie while promoting creationism over evolution, and in that case, you don't have to give me the lie; just give me the name. And I'll start listing the lies for you, yeah. and I will show you how we know that they knew that not only with that every claim they made is wrong, but how we know that they know that every claim is wrong. Yeah. So it's very important for me to demonstrate that James Tour is of that ilk. He is that right. He's not just this guy going and you know I have some doubts. I have my chemistry expertise, and these right. are valid objections. No, they're not. No, they're not. It's a script of lies, just like he's Kent Hovind with a PhD, essentially. There's really no difference.